the presidential election and the Senate and House of Rep elections we hold across the country by the grace of God. Say amen. amen. How many of you still have your voters card? Great, great, great. Now, let me advise. No reasonable child of God should give himself or herself to any form of violence. Don't allow anyone to talk you into it. And ensure you do your part. Don't say, uh, I'm not going to vote. I will say at home. Um, what will my vote do? If you refuse to go, you are guilty of whatever offense those who eventually emerge commit. So I'm calling on everyone. This is the opportunity that democracy offers to us to choose our leaders. The past eight years in this country has turned out to be very, very uh, eventful. You know, it's enough for you to know whether you want the situation around us to continue or not. Let me remind you that life has never been as difficult as it is in Nigeria today. Let me remind us that we now queue for everything. We queue for bread, we queue for water, we queue for petrol, we queue for our own money. And you, you, can't, you can't get it. So is that what you want to continue? Now, you must now vote wisely. I have told you here, every political party have a right to choose who their candidates are. They can choose two brothers. They can choose from the same village. They can choose two cripples. They can choose the blind and the lame is their responsibility. So when they choose, don't blame them. But you also have a responsibility to choose by who you vote for. People whose source of wealth you cannot account. You can't, you can't, you don't, they can't tell the world. People with hidden agendas, people who are not sensitive to the ethno religious differences in this country, and they think they can buy everybody's conscience. Will you vote for them? Please. 
I encourage you be loyal to your political parties, but don't vote people with questionable characters. So arise this time, get your voter's card, go to that your polling vote. They may do things to discourage you. Don't get angry and go home. Ensure you cast your vote. And be happy with your conscience. Don't make your conscience cheap so they can give you the scarce neither. They make it scarce so that if they give you 2,000, it's like, you know. So, don't let anyone buy your conscience. Go that day, Saturday, the 25th, and cast your vote. According to your conscience, Now you say, well, uh, this is the popular one everybody is going. No. If everybody is filing through behind a criminal, will you file behind him? No. No. And some people say, well, uh, I would have voted for so, but I don't think he will win. That's your choice. For me, is beyond just winning. I want my candidate to win, but if it happens that he doesn't win, I will rest my case that I have done what I believe is right. So people tell you, don't waste your vote. It's my vote. If I want to waste it, what concerns you? So, rise up and defend your values. The time is past that people think they can take us for a ride. Revenge for all the oppressions all the sufferings, the party, the groups, the individuals that contributed to the downfall and the pain of the ordinary Nigerian. This will be opportunity for us to punish them for their actions. Say amen. And those whose life and intentions are right. Encourage them with your vote. It doesn't matter whether it's in your village or not. Do what is right. We must do the path of righteousness in this country. And this is one of such a time that we will say no, a big no, to those who think they can turn us whatever way they can, they want. We must rise up and say no. Are you ready? Saturday 25th is the time. March out, be patient, cast your vote, show your conscience, rise against evil, encourage good by your vote. Somebody shout hallelujah.